Hi everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day. Let's talk productivity. I am filming this video, therefore I am being productive. Usually, I'm not productive. I have a really weird relationship with productivity, especially when we talk about productivity equating to success. For some reason, it's been ingrained in me that in order to be successful, you have to be constantly productive, constantly producing, constantly hustling, and constantly working towards your goal. I feel like this is a bad mindset for me especially because I am not a productive person most of the time and the shame that I get from not being productive really affects my self-esteem, my sense of self-worth and it's just really debilitating because productivity equals success, Leone is not productive, Leone is not successful, therefore Leone is a failure. And I need to be honest with you guys, I spend most of my time laying in bed watching Netflix on YouTube, scrolling through social media and playing mindless games and just generally wasting time. And I find that it's definitely a lot more challenging with a 9 to 5 job to be more productive after you come home from work and trying to find the energy to pursue your hobbies and especially hobbies that require a lot of mental effort like making videos, writing, that plus you know trying to balance a social life and other life responsibilities, it's really hard. So I guess I definitely need to kind of redefine what productivity and success means to me but I thought that I would make this video as a way to kind of highlight the things that I do that help me get into a good productive mood. So while I work on my definition, at least I am implementing some things in my day-to-day -day life that really helps me to be productive and make me feel more accomplished. So I hope this video will also help those of you out there who constantly feel like a lazy piece of shit like me and would like to get more done in the day. If I don't start my day off right, my mood to be productive significantly decreases. So whatever it takes to get you in a good productive mood, do it. For me, that would be getting straight out of bed as soon as I wake up, putting on some music while I get ready and having a good coffee and breakfast. What doesn't help me, which is what I usually do, especially on my days off, on the weekends or when I'm having a break, is that extra few minutes when I wake up in the morning and I reach for my phone, check my notifications, scroll through social media, and before I know it, a few minutes has turned into an hour and I just feel like, oh my God, I've wasted so much time. And my willpower to be productive for the rest of the day is just pretty much thrown out the window. So starting the day off right by jumping out of bed and not lounging and lazing around is really important to help you get into a more productive mood. I am a very visual and tactile person, so I like to have everything that's swirling in my mind up here to be on paper or somewhere where I can physically see it. I don't really function well just trying to remember things in my mind, so being able to get my thoughts onto paper really helps me to declutter my mind and focus on the task at hand. There's a lot going on in this brain. So the more actionable items I can put onto paper, the more time I have to ponder the meaning of existence. So to-do lists are super helpful for me. At work, usually the day before or the morning of, I will just spend five to 10 minutes in the day writing a to-do list of tasks that I need and want to do. And it feels really good to be able to tick those items off at the end of the day or as you do them and be like, yep, I've done that, I was successful. What really helps me to organize my life and my extracurricular activities outside of work is Google Calendar. Oh my gosh, I have been using Google Calendar for years. It really helps me to map out my day, my week, my month, even my year. Of course, most of my week is blocked out by my nine to five job, but I can kind of schedule all the other things around that and really allocate a realistic time frame to do certain tasks. So for example, if I have to do boring tax stuff, I'll just allocate two hours during the weekday to get that done. Google Calendar also works as a tentative to-do list for me so that all the tasks are in there and once the time comes, I've already allocated time to do them, so I'll just do them. Next, the checklist. Now this is different to the to-do list, 
While similar, I do tend to think of the checklist as more task specific. So for example, if you have a massive mammoth task like editing a video, I just hit my elbow, it really hurt. So for example, if you have a mammoth task like editing a video, I like to break that down into smaller specific tasks. So for example, cutting the video, finding an audio track, color grading video clips, adding animated text, etc, etc. I find this to be way more manageable and less overwhelming than just seeing like a massive task on my to-do list and being like, ah, it's gonna take forever. So breaking them down and being able to take them off the list as you do them really helps you feel like you've actually achieved something and you can actually see the progress. I think this is a really fun one. I have a 20 minute hourglass on my desk that I use to set myself a time limit on specific tasks. So for example, if I'm planning a video, I will give myself 20 minutes to lay out the structure of that video. And once the time is up, I'll move on to my next task. Now this might not work for every task because some things will require more than 20 minutes for you to do. But I really think it's helpful, especially for me, and because I'm a very visual, tactile person, to be able to see time literally running out as I'm doing something. And I'm like, okay, I need to stop procrastinating and actually get this done now. But you know, if you don't want to get an hourglass, you can also use a timer on your phone. I personally really like the novelty of the hourglass. It's just something that I can visually see and helps me to get things done. If you're a writer or someone who's creative and you're like me, you will find that you are constantly coming up with ideas, but you never have the time to really sit down and flesh those ideas out. This is where for me, Google Docs is so handy. Because I don't really have time, or so I say, to really sit down and focus on developing my ideas. Whenever an idea pops into my head, I just whip out my phone, get out Google Docs and list that idea down so that I don't forget it and that it's not just lost in the void. And sometimes like a burst of inspiration will just come to you in the most unlikely places. For me, it's usually like in the shower at midnight when I'm laying in bed. And as a writer, I've always got like words in my mind, forming sentences and phrases and ideas that I really want to incorporate in the book that I'm writing. So having a digital document like Google Docs where I can use it on my phone and also when I do have the time to actually sit down at my desk, it's on my laptop as well, so I can just work on it. It's really helped me to realize that it's not just about waiting for the time that you can dedicate to being productive. Sometimes it's also about harnessing that instant moment of inspiration and utilizing that to its fullest potential. Now distractions are probably the biggest hindrance to productivity. I would know that I am so easily distracted. Even when I was playing this video, it took me way longer than it should have because I was literally playing this game on my phone and I was like, Okay, I'll start working on this video after I've run out of lives and bloody mobile phone games. You know how they like psychology up in this brain, like they know how to keep you playing. <laughs> so eliminating distractions is essential if you want to keep being productive. So whatever you have to do, whether that be turning off your phone, putting it on silent or putting it meters away from you so that you don't have that urge to check it and then be distracted, do it. And if you need to find somewhere where there's minimal distractions, so it's basically just you and the task at hand. I think it's really important to be able to reward yourself for the work that you do. And it's also a great motivator for you to actually get shit done. So for me at work, I think of lunchtime as my reward and I'll say to myself, okay, I can't go to lunch until I've finished this part of the video. And it makes me work to complete it so that I can actually go out and enjoy my lunch. And the same goes for passion projects outside of work. I will reward myself with like half an hour of watching YouTube videos after I've done like an hour of editing. So whatever you think of as a reward, it could be food, it could be games, it could be socializing, even though I don't know who would think of socializing as a reward. 
extroverts it could even just be taking a break and going out for a walk whatever works for you implement that into your task so I think the biggest thing when it comes to being productive is being held accountable for what you're doing. I am obviously more productive at my nine to five job because I am held accountable. If I don't do something, there are consequences. I could get fired, yada, yada, yada. But it's really hard if you're doing a task that's personal to you and the only person holding yourself accountable is yourself. So sometimes I find that it's helpful that if I put it out there into the universe, that I will do something, it makes me feel like I need to do it because people know that I said that I would do this and it would be really shameful. I know it's a really weird thing to use shame as a motivator, but it helps you be held accountable for what you said you wanted to do. But of course, if you don't want to put it out there into the universe, maybe you can just tell a friend, tell a partner, tell a family member that this is what you want to do and that they should check up on you after this amount of time to see if you've actually done it. It is so important, I think, to have a day off and not feel guilty about it. I always feel so guilty when I am just being a lazy butthole doing nothing. I feel so guilty and ashamed about it. But sometimes, you know, we do have to be lazy. We do have to have an off day. Not everyone can be constantly hustling. Not everyone works like that. We do burn out. So I think scheduling an actual off day is really helpful because you're like, okay, I am working towards that day where I can actually do nothing. So whatever works for you, maybe you're the type of person that needs to schedule a few off days in order to be more productive during your on days. Figure out what works for you. And while I believe productivity can lead to success, it's also about knowing yourself, pacing yourself, looking after your mental health, and just knowing your strengths and limits. We are not all Wonder Woman and Superman, although we would like to be. Sometimes it really is just about accomplishing one small task and hibernating the rest of the week and that is an accomplishment in itself. Anyway, those are my little tips and tricks and things that help me to be in a better productive mood. Sometimes my day literally consists of cleaning my room and that to me is productive enough. Other days I am like super on the ball and I'm like editing videos, doing photo shoots, writing blog posts, going out and doing my shopping going out to cafes and socializing. And that would be like, you know, a super, super great day. But then the next day I'll be like, ah, I need a break. And all I can accomplish on that day is like having a shower. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and got something productive out of it. I would love to know how you guys stay motivated to keep doing stuff, to be productive, to get shit done. Please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, even though sometimes, most of the time, I am really just not on the ball and I am a lazy piece of shit and very inconsistent in my productivity levels. I really appreciate all your love and support. I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a lovely and hopefully productive and if not, a relaxing day. Bye.